Hi guys, I'm Sumbul and welcome to my channel. So today I bring you a hacks video and these are liquid lipstick hacks. And by following these, you will get a very uniform, beautiful liquid lipstick application. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Hack number one, always start with a clean base. With that, I mean start with super soft lips without any dry patches. That would assure that a lipstick goes on really smoothly and there is no dry skin that a lipstick adheres to and create patchiness. You can achieve this with either a lip scrub or by my more preferred method that is applying generous amounts of your favorite lip balm and then wiping or scrubbing it off with a wet wipe. So this will result in all the dead skin coming off very easily resulting in very smooth and soft lips. One bonus tip over here. If you put on the lip balm at night when you're going to sleep, then in the morning your lips are super soft and you can just scrub away the dryness with water. So this way you can start your day with clean and super soft lips every time. For me, this hack and the next one that I'm just going to be mentioning in a couple of minutes are the most important ones when you consider applying your lipstick on top. Because if you don't have a nice and clean and soft base, all the other hacks will be useless. So these two hacks, in my opinion, will be the most important ones that you must never attempt to miss if you want a really good and smooth li liquid lipstick application. The rest of the hacks are also very important if you want a very long lasting and hassle free liquid lipstick application. So with that said, let's move on to the next hack. Because a liquid lipstick really clings to your lips and can make the cracks even more visible, it's important to start with hydrated lips. Otherwise, you will be left with super dry or uncomfortable lips. So to prevent this, apply your favorite lip balm. Mine is the much mentioned on this channel, Elizabeth Arden. So I apply a couple of layers of it and then blot off the excess either with a tissue or by kissing my hand like this if I don't have a tissue available. Hack number three. A lip pencil is very important before the application of a liquid lipstick. Number one. It enables you to get a cleaner outline which you won't be able to easily get with the applicator that comes with the liquid lipstick. And number two. It helps to add depth to your lips, especially if your lip liner is a little darker than your liquid lipstick. If you don't like the applicator at all that comes with the liquid lipstick, then I would suggest using a lip brush for more precision and control. For me, I'm more than happy to use the applicators that come with my liquid lipsticks. My current favorite ones are the liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. So I'm using them a lot nowadays, especially this red color that I'm wearing right now. And I always make sure to use a lip liner because when I don't, I do notice that the lipstick tends to bleed into the fine lines that a skin has. So it results in a very uneven and not so clean application, I would say. So now I'm always applying a lip liner underneath my liquid lipstick as part of my daily routine. That is whenever I'm using a liquid lipstick, that is. And I've noticed that the result is much cleaner and a much more long lasting application as a result of this. So this is a really good tip guys. Do try it and see the beautiful result it gives. Hack number four, make sure to remove the excess product from the applicator and apply a very thin layer. You can then add more product if you want a more pigmented lip, but remember to do that before the lipstick dries out. In my experience, if you don't remove the excess from the wand, and you apply too much product at once, the result is very cakey. And the minute you press your lips together, the lipstick moves and it results in big patchy areas on your lips. In short, it's not a pretty look. So don't do that. Instead, for a very flawless application, apply the thinnest layer to your lips and then work your way upwards. Hack number five. This hack is for the inner rim of your lips. So you might have noticed that when you're wearing a liquid lipstick, your lips look really good when they're closed, but the minute you talk or laugh, you can see an inner rim where the liquid lipstick fails to stay on and it's a very uneven look. So to fix that, take a normal creamy lipstick in a similar shade as your liquid lipstick and apply it to that area. Then do the normal finger trick so that it assures that the lipstick does not stick to your teeth. And in this way, you will achieve the uniform, even look you want. The next hack is for removing liquid lipsticks. Don't try to do this simply with a tissue because you will require force and you will end up harming your lips. The simplest way to do this is by applying a few coats of a lip balm on top of your liquid lipstick, letting it soak for a few minutes and then wiping it away with a wet wipe. This will result in a very easy and hassle-free removal of the lipstick. You can also use Vaseline, oil or any other lip moisturizer to do this. The last hack is for topping up any liquid lipsticks. And this hack is related to the previous hack in this way that you need to first remove the layer you already have on your lips. 
because it's not the same as applying a creamy lipstick where you can just add more product during the day whenever you want to top it up. For a liquid lipstick, it's a little more tricky because if you just add more product to the layer you already have on your lips, it will result in a very patchy and uneven look. So you need to first remove it with the vase I've already mentioned, that is apply a few coats of the lip balm, wait a few minutes and then remove it with a wet wipe and then top it up if you know what I mean, because in this case, it's not exactly topping it up, it's just applying a fresh layer. So anyway, this is how you top up a liquid lipstick. You have to remove it first completely. So these were all the hacks by which you would be sure to get a very flawless liquid lipstick application and by which you can avoid the common mistakes that result in a very patchy, uneven and cracked lip. I have myself been guilty of making some of these mistakes. That's how I've learned and the positive that's come out of it is that I can share with you guys what not to do. So basically it's a win-win situation. So this was all. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every week. Until next time, stay beautiful.